Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is a little box holder for 3x3 cards, which I don't typically have in there. But I do have their envelopes, which just proves to you that you can fit the cards and obviously the envelopes in there because envelopes are bigger than the 3x3 cards. And it's rather sweet. It's got a cute little closure. And I just trashed that ribbon opening it for you. Um, and it's rather sweet and you can get two of these boxes from a sheet of cardstock so I'm just going to pop that out to one side. The piece of cardstock you need is eight and a quarter inches long um, by five inches wide so that's the full width of British A4 well, with A4 cardstock and obviously you can get plenty from a sheet. So okay oh 21 by 12 and a half centimetres that is I'm sorry I do forget the metrics. Okay on the long side you score it at one and five eighths of an inch two and a half, five and three quarters of an inch, and six and five eighths. And in metric that is four, six, fourteen and a half, and sixteen and a half. And then you turn it round and score it at seven eighths of an inch, and at four and one eighth of an inch, which is two and ten and a half. Finished dimensions of the, cut of the box, three and a quarter by seven eighths of an inch, so eight and a half by two centimetres. Okay, so fold your score lines. And burnish them well. And when you are making the imperial version, it matches identically. There is no difference whatsoever. But when you're making the metric version, there is a tiny fraction of a difference that one is slightly bigger than the other. When you are cutting your piece of DSP, make sure you're putting it on the correct one. Not the, well you'll see when you lay it on that you'll know you've got the correct border around. That will be your top. So my DSP panel, how big is it? One and three eighths of an inch by three inches. Yes, that's right. One and three eighths by three inches, which is eight by three centimetres. Is that right? I don't know, that doesn't sound right. Eight by three centimetres. Uh, I got that wrong. Eight by three and a half. Oh, I'm just rubbish today. Okay, so that's going to that's going to go on one part, and then there is a little panel where I've got this little scallopy edge. That's going to come under as well. That piece measures three and a quarter by one inch, so that needs to get prepped and ready as well. So with my scallop edge border punch that I forgot to open so I couldn't fit it in, I just punch and line it up. There we go. So that is going to sit under whatever bit is going to be your front. Which, Like I say, I'm working on the imperial version. Um, so it doesn't matter for me, but when you're working with the metric, do check which one first is going to be your top. So get rid of two of one of these ends. Because that is the bit that's going to come over. Then these bits you just cut into. So I'm going to attach this underneath and it fits just snugly underneath. Perfect. It's a little bit of fuse along one edge. And I find it easier to line it up like this. And then I know that I'm not wibbly or wobbly or anything like that. She says and she wibbles it. This is what happens when you're on camera. Okay. And then my little DSP panel I'm going to go over the top. This is rose red cardstock. That was soft sky in my original one. And it's the same pattern. I deliberately chose the same pattern so that you could see that you could get one pattern, two different looks when you just change the cardstock. Okay. And then the bits that stick round, these are going to come in and that is going to go round the front. So I need a little bit of adhesive here and here. doesn't want to play 
and then on this part too so you hold those up and this one oops just gone off camera slightly there sorry that folds over like that and so oh look at that that is so wobbly that paper can I peel it off I can just ish we're going to pretend that didn't happen let's try and get that lined up neater that's better that's going to go over like that. So I'm going to finish that off in a second. I'm going to do my little bit of stamping. So I've got obviously the matching painted petal stamp set. And I've got the thank you. And my rose red ink. And it's already prepped on the block. Oh, I love it. Uh, where's my punches? Two punches. One and a quarter inch circle goes round this one. And then I've got my silver, my dazzling diamonds glimmer paper with the larger one and three eighths of an inch circle. I'm going to have dimensional on there. in the middle and we're going to pretend I've got lots of ready-made 3 by 3 cards. I haven't. I've just got the envelopes. Oopsie daisy. Pop those in and put it on and it obviously it flaps open like that so we want to get it closed. So this is the Painted Blooms Thick Baker's Twine and you get three colours. You get the smoky, no the, sorry, the soft sky, you get wild wasabi and then you get the whisper white as well. And when, whoopsie daisy. When you tie it round, oh, apparently I can't tie it round, it's, I'm just going to keep squashing it. It keeps it in place. And it stops it twanging open. There we go, see? Oh, what is it with me and bows? Am I doing this the wrong way round? No, that is right. Oh, let's try this again. Uh, right over left. That's marginally better. There we go. Actually, that's quite frankly a lot better. And that is my little three by three box. Four, well, my box for three by three cards, one DSP, two different card stocks, quite a different finish look. I hope you like it. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to speak to you soon. Bye.